Hey everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. I just got in from reloading the firewood stand over the long holiday weekend. I hope everybody had a great, happy Thanksgiving, ate some good food, and spent time with their families. But over the long holiday weekend, we, the firewood stand got wiped out. We sold four loose stacks and like seven bundles. Um, actually, just before the, we left, Sarah and I left for the holiday weekend, I made a new little additional firewood stand to put next to my existing one in order to be able to uh, keep more bundles out there rather than just six bundles at a time because we have been selling so much I didn't want to run out, run out while we were away these past couple days. Um, so I filmed a little clip of me doing that. I will put that in the video right here. All right guys, I'm not making a video here but I just got home from work. It's the day before Thanksgiving and I just whipped up this quick little add-on to my firewood stand. Bundles and firewood have been selling like hotcakes so I figured it can't hurt to have room for, you know, 10 more bundles. I could probably even fit, you know, like uh, 13 on here or 14. There's there's nine in the back and one up in the front. This is an old uh, pallet that I actually got at a tile store months and months ago when we were redoing our bathroom. I picked up the tile, saw it sitting there, and I was like, oh, that would make a perfect little add-on bundle stand someday. So. I'd like to eventually paint it brown to match the rest of the stand and maybe put on some legs to bring it up off the ground. But for uh, Thanksgiving weekend here, we're gonna be away for a couple days. And I thought this would be a great way to just ensure that there's plenty of firewood, even if we do run out of the four loose stacks, you know, we'll have plenty of, of bundles that people can buy, hopefully enough, um, you know, even if we're out of the loose stacks. So uh, you'll probably see this in an upcoming video. But I uh, just wanted to throw it on there. We have some exciting stuff happening with the firewood stand. Um, some cool new add-ons we're going to be adding and potentially, you know, looking into expanding it to make it a little bit bigger so I don't have to refill it quite as often. So I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. You'll definitely be seeing this after Thanksgiving. But I uh, hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Got a lot to be thankful for. And uh, we'll see you soon. There you have it. New little bundle stand out next to the big one looking great it would look better once we get it painted but like i said we will get to that after thanksgiving so i'm happy with that but today what we're going to be talking about i want to show you this this cool new thing that um actually a viewer sent me there's a guy by the name of norman reached out to me a couple weeks ago and he said he makes these uh pay boxes for firewood stands and they're more secure than just your standard little mailbox that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's that a lot of us use on our roadside firewood stands. He asked me if I'd be interested in trying it, um, showing it on the channel. I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. He sent me a couple pictures. They looked really high quality and I got them here in the mail just the other day. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what they are. So these are the uh, Honest Honor Box and you can contact the gentleman that makes them, uh, Norm, here at the Honest Honor Box at gmail.com. As you can see, he makes two different size boxes, um, a large and a small. They're really nice, uh, heavy duty, high quality hinges here, really nice welds, um, powder coated even. And I'm gonna flip them open because the inside is actually pretty pretty neat on each of them. Um, as you can see, they lock, they have a hole for a padlock and room to get a padlock up and in the bottom of them. Um, and when you flip them open, they, they have these tabs here on, on both the doors to kind of funnel the cash and push it back in, into the bottom back part of the box. Um, that way, you know, it, if, if you don't check your, your firewood stand too often, um, you know, people don't get frustrated by a, a bunch of money being bunched up right at the slot. Um, which brings me to another point is that if you don't check your firewood stand very often or it's at an auxiliary property or something, this big box would be fantastic for you um, because it is just so large. Um, there is really a lot of room for a lot of cash in there. Um, you could probably go, well, depending on how much you sell, I bet you could probably go about a month without having to empty this thing out. And because it is 
built so well, um, I don't think you would have any problem with theft or anything of that nature. Just because my firewood stand is down at the bottom of my driveway, I'm gonna be using this smaller one here. It's gonna fit a little bit better. Um, he went ahead and drilled some holes on the back. I got some lag bolts here. These are actually a little too big for the holes that were already you know, drilled in, so we're gonna ream them out a little bit with a drill bit, and we're gonna go ahead and get this Honest Honor Box um, assemb well, not assembled, but installed on my roadside firewood stand. All right, now we got a dude ranchified. All right guys, so we got those holes drilled and the pay box dude ranchified. We got um, the tools that I think we're gonna need here to get this thing installed on the stand. But I just wanted to quickly go over the pricing because I know everybody's gonna be interested in that. Um, I can't confirm that this is definitely still the pricing, but um, when I was Talking back and forth with Norman, this was the pricing that he gave me. So for the small box, he was saying it was going to be $65 shipped, anywhere to the lower 48. Um, and the large box was going to be $110 shipped to the lower 48. Um, he offers a couple different options. He can offer you a lock, you know, to go with the box. He can offer uh, the mounting hardware. And um, it comes standard, I guess, with no holes drilled because the mounting holes, um, you know, are, are going to be different depending on where you want to mount this thing on your stand and depending on the type of stand. Um, if you, he does say that you can, uh, you know, request that holes be drilled and you would just have to, you know, provide the dimensions or, or the, you know, spacing for those holes. Um, so that being said, I'm excited to get this thing on there. I know it'll be a lot more secure than my current little flimsy, um, you know, sheet metal box that I currently have on there. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty darn good as well. So just one thing I wanted to note, um, I got the lock that I was planning on using here. Um, and I just went to try it, and although there is plenty of room to get it up and in the bottom of this box here, the hole is actually not big enough for a standard lock. So you might have to drill out this hole or just get a smaller, you know, lock with a, with a smaller diameter, you know, loop here um, to be able to fit into the holes that Norman has drilled to secure, you know, the lid closed. So I'm actually going to run to the hardware store now and get a smaller lock because I, I think it'll also just be easier to get the lock in and out if the lock was a little bit smaller. All right, guys. So here we are at the firewood stand. This is my current pay box. You know, it's just a cheap mailbox that I got over at Lowe's. It's done the trick. Um, you know, I got some screws holding it in and a couple little lag bolts. Uh, so we're going to get work on getting this thing off and out of here and then we'll install the new Honest Honor box.
All right, so we got the first two on there. That was a little tough holding it up. I should, probably should have brought a clamp or something to clamp it to the stand. Um, but it's on there, looks pretty good. We gotta get two more bolts in. Okay, so we got that bolted on there. It is super secure. I mean, like this thing is not going anywhere. Um, the only way it's going somewhere is somebody comes with their own tractor and picks up the whole firewood stand and takes it away. Um, this thing looks great. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it's nice that it says pay here. I think it's super secure. Obviously, you know, like I've never really had anybody steal from the firewood stand, um, whether that's firewood or try to take the money out of the pay box. I know from the comment section that some people do have issues with that, um, which is unfortunate, but I think that this box is a great alternative, um, you know, to your typical flimsy, cheap little, you know, mailbox from Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, so to final things up and, and make it really secure, we I went out and got this master lock. This does fit. Um, it's a level, I guess, five out of uh, 10 on their, you know, security scale. So we got a key. We're gonna pop this puppy on and uh, that'll be that. Okay. So now to put it on, I'm just gonna put it up in there. Uh, lock it up so now you're nice and secure as you can see here padlock is visible you can see it um, you know that's that's not going anywhere so I feel really good about that final thing I'm gonna put the key on my key ring so I don't lose this because uh, this this lock might be a little tough to cut um, so that is awesome thank you very much Norman um, I'm really looking forward to uh, taking money out of this and uh, trying it here down the road on my firewood stand. So one last look at the box here. I think it looks great on the firewood stand. And uh, we even sold our first bundle out of the little auxiliary bundle stand here. So I'm excited about that. I'd like to do some more work to this thing, maybe even get it painted or, you know, attach it to this, my, my current stand somehow, but it's nice to be able to have more than just six bundles out here at a time. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to about wrap this one up. Pretty simple, straightforward, self-explanatory video. This honest honor box appears to be a really great solution. If you're looking for um, a safe, secure way to, you know, have a, a firewood stand that's self-service 24-7 based on the honor system. Um, you know, nobody's going to get into this. The way that it's welded, the construction, um, the, the quality of this is a really nice, well-thought-out um, pay box. And I think it's going to serve me really well on my firewood stand. And it, it just gives that extra, you know, factor of, you know, it doesn't say mail anymore on on the, the pay box. It's it's a purpose-built thing. Looks a little bit more professional and it's definitely more secure than that old flimsy little tin uh, mailbox that I was using. So again, I will put the information for to get in touch with Norman um, down in the description, but his email is thehonesthonorbox at gmail.com. So reach out to him if you're interested. I, he has all different um, you know, options and stuff for, for how these things can be made. Um, I think a, a couple different colors, mounting hardware, locks, you name it. He's, he, you know, he's your one-stop shop for a really safe, secure pay box for your uh, self-service firewood stand. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Any questions, comments, or feedback, put it down in that comment section below. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. We're, we're over 12,000 subscribers, which is awesome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.